The Haftorah for Parsha Yitro is quite intimidating. When I read it, I felt a little overwhelmed that I was ill-equipped to understand and to explain it. It details Yishayahu's initiation in quite esoteric and metaphysical terms, talking about fire angels, uh, divine robes, um, uh, burning coals, and all sorts of imagery that is quite distant from our lived reality. When I began to dig a little deeper, I found two things that I wanted to uh, share uh, with you uh, in giving an overview on the class this morning. The first is the parallel that um, exists between Ishayahu's first call to prophecy and Moshe's first call to prophecy. I'll share the text briefly so that we can get a, uh, a, a sense of that parallel. So the first segment of the Haftorah from the sixth chapter of Ishayahu talks about how Ishayahu has a vision of the throne in which there are these fire angels that are covering God's presence and then saying, calling to each other, Kadosh, 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 Hashem Tzavakot, Melok Aretz Kivado, a line that we're familiar with from Kedusha and that we will come back to in a moment. And then Yishayahu complains of having trouble with his impure lips, having some kind of spiritual speech impediment, which is rectified by having a fiery coal atone and purge his lips. And then he says to God, now I'll, I'll, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. So here I am, send me out for your mission. So on these points that I've just summarized from the psukim that are in front of you, we can already make a list of similarities to Moshe at the Sneh, when he is wandering with his sheep and chances upon a burning bush. First, the similarity in regard to fire. The Seraphim, Lisrof, are the fire angels, so there is that component. There is also the fact that Moshe hid from Hashem's presence because he was overwhelmed by it. And Yeshayahu similarly has a covering of God through the wings of the angels. The speech challenge that Moshe has and that he argues that he is the wrong guy as a result of is very similar to the way that Yeshayahu says, I'm not ready for this gig to be your mouthpiece, God, because of my impure lips that have tasted and partaken in pleasures that are impure. And Hashem has to convince Moshe, just like he has to convince Yeshayahu that there is a way around this impediment. And he does so in the Yeshayahu story by literally burning the lips with this coal. And of course, we think immediately to the Midrash about how Moshe as a little boy was tempted by the power of Paro and given a choice between the crown and the coal. He chose uh, the crown and then an angel came and shifted his hand over to the coal and he touched it and he burnt him and he touched his tongue, which then burned his tongue. And that's where the list for the speech impediment came from. So indeed, Chazal are reading this episode of Yeshayahu back into Moshe because of the similarity in which they have biographically as becoming initiated to the job of prophet in very similar ways. And then lastly, on this list, uh, at the end where Yeshayahu gives in and says, Hineni, I'm here, do with me what you want. Shalcheni, send me, is very similar to the way that Moshe says Hineni at the burning bush, and then eventually says, Shlach na biati shlach, just send 
whoever you need to send, I will be that person. So we see that just as Moshe is the protagonist of our Parsha and his initiation and role that he plays in Ma'amad Har Sinai is also is highlighted and sort of spotlighted in the parallel to Yeshayahu in the Haftorah. Perhaps Moshe's role gets dwarfed a little by Yitro as the protagonist at the beginning of the Parsha, or of course by the Ma'amad Har Sinai, the revelation itself, the Haftorah helps us appreciate the person behind the revelation, the person who serves as the intermediary, the conduit, the mouthpiece of revelation, that is Moshe in the Torah and Yishayahu, the Navi. I think we're out of time, so I'll have to explain the Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh piece a different time. But thank you for listening. I hope this helps make a somewhat impenetrable Haftorah just a bit more penetrable. Have a wonderful rest of your day.